here are all my spices. Here are all my spices. My Italian seasoning, ground crushed red peppers, garlic. You know I'm Haitian, so we definitely have to bring in that complete seasoning in. I love Tony's Creole seasoning and some seasoning salt. Not sure if I'm going to use that because as you guys know, feta cheese is kind of salty. So we put the block of feta in the middle and then we spread the cherry tomatoes thought it was great but these are actually cherry tomatoes put them in spread them out just a little bit oh you guys love my nails me too they're so cute anyway um spread them around just a little bit and then and just in case you guys are wondering why am i not using my tripod this time it's because manny you guys have heard me talk about him lost my tripod so as a result i have to hold it in one handed okay so now i'm about to add my italian seasoning i already added in the olive oil putting in my italian seasoning and crushed red peppers yum i like it spicy so it's my family of course my body is seating complete it's not complete if you don't have your complete. Then we'll add in the onion powder. And then we will add in the garlic powder. And now it'll go into the oven for 400 degrees, 30 minutes we'll see what we got okay everyone I'm just taking it out of the oven and here is the result of the feta and the tomatoes and baked for 30 minutes and now we're going to add in we're going to break it down and then add in our pasta so now we're going to use a fork and break it down which means mashing it up and incorporating it with all of the tomatoes. It smells like a flipping heaven. Oh my gosh, I cannot even begin to explain how aromatic it is in my kitchen right now. So delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. I don't know if it's the garlic or the feta or what it is exactly, but as you can see, all the flames rising or the smoke, rather. Um, gosh, it smells so good. Okay, now it's all incorporated. We've mixed in all of our cheese with our tomatoes our spices ah this is going to be something amazing okay now we're going to bring in our pasta okay so i heard a lot of people said it would be easier to use smaller pasta but i felt that linguine would pair so much better with this delightful dish as opposed to putting in bow tie spaghetti or um, so a lot of people use penne um, and I felt like that definitely would not resonate with this dish for us in my household so we took the linguine route. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Do you guys see the aromatics like raising up to greet you in the camera? Can you see it? Oh, this is so mouth warning. I cannot wait to fully dig in. All of the juices. See it? All the cheeses mixed in together. 
It's a melange to die for. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your TikTok fed a pasta challenge completed by moi chef katie crocker until next time bon appetit